Have you ever wondered about the role games play in our mental health? In the grand tapestry of life, mental health forms a crucial thread, its importance often understated. It is the silent conductor orchestrating our thoughts, feelings and behaviours. It is the foundation of our emotional well-being, our relationships and our ability to adapt to change and cope with adversity. Now imagine for a moment the humble board game or the deck of cards, seemingly simple pastimes, aren't they? Yet they are much more than just ways to pass the time. They are conduits of connection, tools of engagement and vehicles for mental exercise. Board games and card games, in their simplicity and complexity, serve as catalysts for promoting mental health. In the realm of mental health, games are not just games, they are therapeutic tools. They harness the power of play to heal, to soothe, to connect. They offer an engaging platform to express emotions, confront fears and explore solutions in a safe and controlled environment. The act of playing a game can be a therapeutic journey, allowing individuals to navigate their mental landscapes and facilitate healing and growth. Beyond therapy, games also play a significant role in developing cognitive functions. They engage the mind, challenge our thinking and stimulate mental agility. A game of chess, a round of poker or a session of Scrabble each of these is a mental workout, sharpening our memory, strategy and problem-solving skills. They are mental gymnasiums, promoting brain health and cognitive resilience. And let's not forget the social benefits. Games connect people. They build bridges, foster communication and promote empathy. They are social glue, binding people together through shared experiences, laughter and friendly competition. They create a sense of belonging, reduce feelings of isolation and contribute to our overall mental well-being. So, you see, the interplay of mental health and games is a profound one. Games are more than just fun. They are mental health allies, promoting therapeutic healing, cognitive development and social connection. Let us delve deeper into these benefits through real-life case studies. Consider the case of John, who found solace in board games during a rough patch in his life. John, like many of us, had experienced a series of stressful life events. He was dealing with a demanding job, a recent breakup, and the loss of a close family member. He found himself constantly worried, his mind a whirlwind of anxious thoughts almost all the time. One day, a friend invited John to a board game night. Initially, he was skeptical, unsure of how a game could alleviate the weight of his worries. But he decided to give it a go and that decision marked a turning point in John's mental health journey. As John delved into the world of board games, he found himself captivated by the strategic planning, the quick decision-making and the thrill of competition. These games weren't just about rolling dice or moving pieces around a board, they demanded focus, strategy and creativity. The more he played, the more he noticed his anxious thoughts receding into the background. They were replaced by the intricate strategies of the game, the joy of a well-played move, the anticipation of the next turn. John found that board games provided a welcome distraction from his anxieties. They allowed him to step away from his worries, even if just for a few hours. The games served as a form of therapy, a mental escape from the stresses of everyday life. Not only did these games help John cope with his stress and anxiety, but they also fostered a sense of accomplishment when he won, boosting his self-esteem. When he lost, they taught him resilience and the ability to handle defeat gracefully. These are skills that extended beyond the game board, helping John navigate the challenges of his daily life with greater ease. John's story highlights how games can act as a form of therapy, providing an escape from mental health issues. They offer a safe space to relax, engage the mind, and forge meaningful social connections. So, the next time you're feeling stressed, why not try a board game? You might be surprised at the therapeutic power it holds. Now let's turn our attention to Lisa, who used card games to boost her cognitive abilities. Lisa, like many of us, found herself struggling with the challenges of everyday life. The pressures of work, the demands of family and the weight of personal issues all seemed to converge, causing her considerable stress and anxiety. But Lisa found her relief in an unlikely place, the world of card games. Lisa started playing card games as a way to unwind. Little did she know that these games, often seen as mere pastime, would provide her with profound cognitive benefits. As Lisa played, she noticed a significant improvement in her memory. The need to remember the rules, the cards she had and the strategies she employed all contributed to enhancing her memory skills. But the benefits didn't just stop at memory. 
Card games, in their essence, are about problem solving. Each game is a puzzle, a challenge that requires critical thinking and strategic planning. Lisa found that the more she played, the better she became at solving problems, not just in the game, but in her everyday life as well. Perhaps the most surprising benefit Lisa experienced was an improvement in her concentration. The nature of card games demands a high level of focus and attention. Every move matters and any lapse in concentration can mean the difference between victory and defeat. This intense focus that Lisa developed during her card games started to spill over into other aspects of her life. She noticed that she was able to stay focused for longer periods and her productivity at work increased significantly. These cognitive benefits that Lisa experienced were particularly helpful as she was dealing with mental health issues such as depression and ADHD. The card games provided her with a coping mechanism, a way to distract herself from her worries and a method to improve her mental skills. Lisa's experience shows that games can aid in mental health by enhancing cognitive functions. The world of card games, often dismissed as mere entertainment, can be a powerful tool for improving mental health and cognitive abilities. Let's look at the case of Mark, who used board games to overcome his social anxiety. Mark, a man in his late thirties, had always battled with social anxiety. He found himself feeling anxious in social situations and, as a result, he often chose to isolate himself from the world. But everything changed when he discovered the world of board games. Embarking on this journey wasn't easy for Mark. He was hesitant, nervous and unsure. But with every roll of the dice, every card drawn and every piece moved, he found himself becoming more engrossed in the game and less focused on his anxiety. The games offered a fun and relaxed environment where he could interact with others without the usual pressures of social etiquette. Playing board games became a regular part of Mark's routine. He started attending game nights where he met people from all walks of life. Over time, he found himself looking forward to these gatherings. He was not just playing games, he was building friendships, sharing laughter and creating memories. These games became a catalyst for Mark's social interaction, helping him to step outside his comfort zone. The friendly competition provided a sense of camaraderie and the shared excitement of winning or the mutual disappointment of losing created a bond between the players. Mark was no longer isolated. He was part of a community. Moreover, these games helped Mark to develop communication skills. He learned to articulate his thoughts clearly, negotiate with others and even engage in light-hearted banter. His confidence began to grow. He found himself more at ease in social situations, not just at the gaming table, but in his day-to-day -day life as well. The social interaction involved in playing board games can alleviate feelings of loneliness and isolation common in many mental health conditions. Board and card games are not just about entertainment, they provide an opportunity for meaningful connection and interaction. Mark's journey illustrates the potential of games in fostering social connections, crucial for mental well-being. As we've seen from John, Lisa and Mark's stories, games can play a significant role in mental health. Our journey through the realms of card and board games has unveiled their hidden potential in bolstering mental health. Let us recount the key points that have emerged from our discussion. Firstly, we delved into the therapeutic power of games. They're not just vessels of entertainment, but also a form of therapy. Engaging in games can help distract from daily stresses, providing a mental escape and offering a sense of accomplishment when we overcome challenges. Games can be a safe space to express and navigate emotions, helping us develop resilience and coping skills. We also explored the cognitive benefits of card games. These games are far from trivial pastimes. They demand strategic thinking, problem solving and memory skills, keeping our minds sharp. In fact, regular card game sessions can help slow cognitive decline and boost mental agility. They can also foster a growth mindset, teaching us that we can improve with effort and practice. Then we took a turn towards the social aspects of board and card games. They are a conduit for human connection, fostering social interaction and team building. They give us a platform to interact, communicate and bond with others, reducing feelings of isolation and loneliness. Games can also teach us valuable life skills, such as patience, sportsmanship and cooperation. However, while we celebrate the power of games in mental health, it's essential to remember that they are not a substitute for professional help. They are tools that can complement therapeutic interventions and self-care practices. 
If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health issues, seeking professional help is always the best course of action. In conclusion, games are not just about winning or losing, they are about learning, growing, connecting and healing. They're about embracing challenges, celebrating victories and learning from defeats. Remember, every time you pick up a game, you're not just playing, you're also taking a step towards better mental wellness.